I've been working with Azure and the cloud for almost two years now. So here's how I would learn Azure cloud if I was to start from scratch. Please enjoy the video. Two years into my career and I've worked two different roles in cloud computing. I started my cloud career as a junior Azure administrator. I worked as a junior for about three months before I was moved up to just an Azure administrator role, so an associate role. Picked up a lot of experience there and shortly after that, I moved into a role as a cloud security engineer working with Azure and 365. So I've definitely had a good career path so far. I'm thankful for that. And I'm still learning a lot and growing to further that career. My career path has already involved different aspects of the cloud and I hope it continues to do so. But if I was to start again from scratch as someone who knew nothing about cloud computing or Azure, here's how I would do it. Hopefully these steps can help those who wanna do the same. So let's pretend I know nothing about cloud computing haven't worked in the role, I have no experience, and I barely even know what Azure is. Here's what I'll do first. Step one, learn cloud computing fundamentals. I would first of all learn those basic things and fundamentals to know if that is exactly what I would want to go into. I'd do so by watching videos on what is cloud computing, type that into YouTube and find a video on it. Um, I'll, I'd watch videos like this Azure overview which shows what Azure is and how it's used and what exactly it does. I'd also watch videos like the video you're watching right now, which is how I would learn Azure Cloud if I was to start from scratch. So if you're in that position, you're in the right place. I'll leave a few links to some of these videos in the description so that you can check them out. I would also just go online and learn about the demand for skills in Azure. I would learn about how widely Azure is used, if it is a skill that is in demand, and if I gain this skill, will I be able to get a good job from it? And the answer to that would definitely be a yes. Step two, attend free virtual training days. Microsoft provide free virtual training days to anyone who would like to attend. They have specific dates for these events, and if you go onto the website, and sign up, register with your name and email. You can register for these free training days and get a lot of knowledge from Azure out of them. I'd recommend the training days for Azure. They teach you a lot about Azure fundamentals. I'll leave links in the description for where to sign up for these training days. And if you are interested, when you go on these training days, especially the Azure fundamentals training, it will give you all the information you need to go on and take the AZ900 Azure Fundamental Certification. Which brings me to my next step. Step three, get certified AZ900. Next step I'd take would be to go and sit the AZ900, which is the Azure Fundamentals exam. This exam gives you a great foundation for a career in cloud and in Azure. It's not really hard. You can definitely pass this exam without having worked in this industry. So that would be the that would be a big recommendation to go and sit the AZ900, pass and get that certification. I've got a video on how I sat and passed that certification, so do go check that out. I'll leave a link in the description for that also. Whilst you're studying for this certification, don't just take in the knowledge that the courses may give you. Also go away and do some practical work, um, do some labs, log into the Azure portal, play around with it, and that will sort of solidify the studying you're doing. You don't just know what things are, but you also know how to use Azure and play around with the actual technology that you would be working with. Once you're certified and you've done some hands-on work with labs and practical stuff in Azure, it's now step four, time to search for your first Azure role. So if I was in that position, I would go and search for junior Azure roles wouldn't yet apply for anything more. I would stick to applying for junior roles, maybe if you're a graduate, graduate roles and just entry level Azure roles that you can find, whether on LinkedIn or Indeed or whatever job search machine engine you wanna use. Alternatively, if you're not able to get that junior Azure role or that entry level Azure role, 
Do also look for other tech roles that involve a bit of Azure as well. There are lots of IT support roles which you'll also be using Azure. So that could be a great start. Don't always think that you have to get that Azure role so you can become a cloud engineer. Even if you start IT support, that does involve a bit of support in Azure. That could be really helpful in getting you some hands-on experience in Azure, but then move on to an Azure-based role. So look through those job descriptions and if you see IT support roles or other IT analyst roles that involve some Azure support, then do look into those as well. And that brings me to step five of what I would do if I was to start over, and that is take the opportunity to expand my knowledge. Brackets, be curious. Azure is broad, like really broad. There are so many services within Azure and there's so much that you can be learning about and doing. So once you get into the door, once you get that first job, and you're focusing on one area and you're learning about one thing, don't spend your whole career learning about one thing, but branch out into other areas of the cloud. I started off as an Azure administrator, but within that role, I learned a lot about Azure security and cloud security, which then helped me to get into my next role as a cloud security engineer. So don't just stick to doing one thing, but be curious, get on other projects to do with other parts of Azure, keep learning. Azure is super broad and there's a lot to learn to expand your knowledge and increase your value. Step six. For step six, I just wanna give a few tips and bonuses and some words of wisdom and encouragement. Firstly, don't give up on that job search. I know it can be really hard to search for jobs and go to interviews and get rejected a lot of the time. I've been there, everyone's been there, and it's really not nice. But don't give up, keep applying, keep searching for roles. If you get an interview and you get rejected after the interview, ask for feedback, learn from that feedback, and continue to add to yourself, and you will get that role eventually. Another tip is to gain knowledge from others, which technically you're doing right now. You're gaining knowledge from someone who's had a bit of experience in Azure and in the cloud. So well done, you've already got that step before I could say it. Also learn from people around you who are in tech and who are in cloud computing as well. It's always really helpful to learn from people who are in the position that you want to be in. Finally, whichever step you're on or whichever position you're at, don't stop learning. If you're just searching for a job, keep learning about Azure, keep expanding your knowledge. If you've already got your first job, keep expanding your knowledge. If you're five years into working in the cloud computing, keep expanding your knowledge. Don't stop learning. Technology changes so quickly. Things change all the time. There's always updates. There's always new technology. So keep learning to keep your skills up to date and to increase your value as the world moves on in technology, as new innovations come into play, keep learning. Be sure to follow me on LinkedIn and Instagram as well. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.